So somebody asked me to talk about the T220. Well, this is a T160. This is a T220 without the case. This is what's called a W, which has the external mounting controls. Um, so it looks like this, but we're going to use both of these because this applies to both. So the T220HS and the T160HS. A lot of people think that they can put these amplifiers on 24 volts or 12 volts and outpower the 1002T or the 1001B or the 1001U. That's simply not the case. So the T160 puts out 160 by 2 at 4 ohms at 36 volts. If you're not running 36, you're not going to get the power out of this thing. At 24, we're at 70 by 2. So the 1002T technically puts out more power. Now, James York does a ton of videos testing these amps. I have not looked to see if he's done these two yet. I think he has, but don't quote me on that. At full voltage, 36 volts for either of these, you're gonna get more power than the 1002T, the 1001U, the XPSM, whatever it is. But, if you're running a 12 volt or a 24 volt, you might as well get like a 1001U, 1001B for singles, or 1002T for a dual. It just it, it makes more sense because the numbers don't lie. I can put this one on the same 24 volt system and be not as loud as a 1002T. The signal on this one is a much cleaner signal and better sound. I will say the filtering on these the, so here's the cap bank and filtering system compared to this this one's going to have better sound it's not going to have white noise it's not going to have the popping as bad if at all the cool thing is you can also directly install power leads you also have usb it's going to put out more power but it really needs the 36 volts in order to achieve that a lot of people will buy a 600 or a 220 or a 160 to upgrade from their 1002 and they're like i feel like it was louder on the 1002 and most of the time it is now sensitivity of the speaker also matters if you have a very lousy sensitivity for a speaker like you have a really bad speaker that doesn't get loud on low power the 160 and 220 might be able to overcome that a little bit with their their filtering or better tuning um but if you have something like the kickers, you're probably going to notice a better output from the 1002T. You might experience the white noise, but it's going to be a louder system. Now, that's not always the case, but generally speaking, it is. That's why we try to recommend you match the amplifier's max voltage with the battery you're using. So, um, it's just another reason why the 1001U, 1001B, 1002T are very popular amplifiers on 24 volts. 